Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to show you how I made five different ice dyed onesies. The onesies were all soaked in soda ash, wrung out, and so they're all just barely damp. The first one is a side fan fold. So I have my onesie laid out flat, and I'm taking a washable marker that I'm going to wrap a little bit of kite string around. Find a point on my onesie where I want the middle of my fan fold to begin, and draw an arc on the onesie with the washable marker. Then I'm going to fan fold this line and tie it up with some kite string. The rest of the onesie, I'm going to go ahead and fan fold it as well and tie it up with kite string too. Each of these onesies I'm going to let totally dry out before I put the dye on. This onesie I'm going to ice dye in the muck. So I have my onesie down inside of a container and I'm just going to add on the very end of it some Viridian Blue from Grateful Dyes. followed by Grecian C from Dharma Trading Company. Tropical Dream from Dharma Trading Company. and one more area of Viridian Blue from Grateful Dyes. Then in between each of these colors, I'm going to add a line of Indigo Blue from Custom Colors. I'm going to put some soda ash on top and then load on the ice. I'm using pieces of plastic cutting board that I've cut into strips and held together with binder clips to make myself a little barrier to put my ice down in. Then I'm using some dye bottles that I've just filled with water to kind of hold it all in place. I'm going to add another very thin layer of indigo blue over the top of my ice just to add a little bit of extra depth to my color. Now I'm going to put it aside, let it process for at least 24 to 36 hours, 
after my ice melts. And this is what the onesie turned out looking like. The next one I'm going to do is a spiral. I'm going to use the fork and choose the spot in the middle of my onesie and begin to spiral it with the fork. Then I'm going to hold it in place with some rubber bands. Again, I put my onesie aside and I've let it dry out. This one I'm going to rack dye. So I have my onesie on a rack and I have a piece of silicone cake mold around it to make a barrier for my ice. I'll leave a link to these so that you can see what I'm talking about down in the description. The colors that I'm using are Fuchsia from Grateful Dyes, Lemon Yellow from Dharma Trading Company, and Vivid Turquoise from Custom Colors. I'm adding my colors in pie shapes and I'm overlapping them just a little bit to go ahead and make the full rainbow. Then I'm going to put another light sprinkle of soda ash over the top, followed by the ice. I came back after my layer of ice had melted and the color went all the way through the onesie, so I didn't add another layer of ice. I just went ahead and let it continue to process. After 24 hours, I came back, and here's what our onesie looks like. The third one I'm doing is a scrunch. I'm just going to take and scrunch up my onesie and hold it in place with some rubber bands. My ice barrier for this one is something called a cake collar. I purchased this off of Amazon and it's what they put around cakes when they decorate them. I'll leave a link to that too down in my description. I'm going to rack dye this so I have a very small little rack down in the bottom of my tub. And I've put the onesie on top of that, added ice to the top of my onesie. And then I'm just going to use a single color for this one. I'm going to use Sea Glass from Dharma Trading Company. I'm just going to sprinkle the Sea Glass on the top and add some soda ash to the top of that. Alright, so here's our completed onesie. The fourth one that I'm going to do is another spiral. So again, I'm just going to lay my onesie out flat. This time I'm going to start my spiral by just grabbing the area with my fingers and twisting where I'd like the spiral to begin.
After I have it spiraled, I'm going to hold it in place with some rubber bands. I'm going to dye this onesie down in the muck, and for this one I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use Gunmetal Gray from Dharma Trading Company, and I'm going to apply it in two pie portions across from each other. Then the second color is Royal Blue from Custom Colors. I'm going to apply that in the other two sections. Then I'm going to add some soda ash and put the ice on top. After allowing it to process for at least 24 hours after my ice melted, this is what our onesie looks like. Our final onesie is a double fan fold. So to begin, I'm taking my onesie and I'm going to fold one corner up to the shoulder of the onesie. So it's basically folded in half diagonally. Then I'm going to take a piece of kite string and wrap it around a washable marker. And I'm going to draw an arc on that one corner. I'm going to fan fold this line and tie it up with some kite string. I'm going to fan fold the rest of the onesie and tie it up with some kite string too. I'm going to incline ice dye this one, but since the onesie is so small, I'm going to go ahead and take the guttering that I usually use to incline dye with. I'm going to put the onesie down inside of it, down at the end, and then I'm going to use some more of the silicone cake molds to make myself a smaller barrier around the onesie. 
Then I'm going to apply Lemon Yellow from Grateful Dyes at the very top of my onesie, followed by Custom Colors Orange, and then Red Number 9 from Grateful Dyes at the very end. Then I'm going to sprinkle it with soda ash, put the ice on, and let it process for at least 24 hours after my ice has melted. And here's what our double fan fold looks like. Alright, so here is one last look at all five of the onesies we made this time. If you're enjoying watching my videos, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.